How's it going guys, my name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to use hash maps in Rust. So a hash map is basically just a collection of key value pairs. So for example, at university, you studied some subjects. Now in that case right there, the subject name would be the key and the mark you got at, at that subject or for that subject would be the value. So you have a key which is mapped to a value. So when you say key, you want the value. So now you can use uh, the hash map in Rust by first importing the hash map struct. So up here, we'll just type out uh, use standard collections and then hash map. And that right there will import the hash map struct. Now in the main function, we can start by creating a new hash map. So we can say let's mut marks equals hash map and then new. That right there will make a new hash map that is mutable called marks. So we can insert values onto this hash map by using the insert method. So down here we'll just put a comment and we can say add values. Now we can go down here and just say marks.insert so the insert method requires two arguments, the first one being the key and the second being the value. So for example, let's just say that you studied Rust programming at university and you got a score of 96. So that's one value inserted into the hash map. You studied Rust and you got a mark of 96. So you have key and then value. Now we'll do a few more of these. Let's say you also studied uh, web development and you got 94 for that one. You also studied uh, UX design, user experience, and you got a score of, uh, let's just say, 75. And you also studied uh, professional computing studies. So you say, professional computing studies, and you got a score of just say, uh, 45. So now you have four values inserted into the hash map. Now to find out how many, how many elements you have, how many items you have, you can use the len method. So down here we'll just say uh, find length of hash map. We can simply just say print line. Oh, hold on, print line. Print line, how many subjects have you studied? Right now inside here we'll just call the marks.len method. All right, let's now run this program and see how we go. Go into the command line. Say cargo run. Alright. And we have studied four subjects because there has been four values inserted inside the hash map. Alright, so how do you now find out the value of one of your keys? So let's say that you want to know your score for web development. Well, we can use the get method on hash maps to do this. So for example, uh, using using the match block, we can type this out. We can say match marks dot get and then web development. Now we're using match here because there's two scenarios here. You can find the value of web development, so how much you got, or web development might not exist in the hash map as a key. So we can say uh, sum and then mark. So if we found a mark for web development, we can say print line, uh, you got for web dev. And we can pass in mark just like that. Now if we couldn't find a value for web development, we'll just say you didn't study web development. Alright, and we'll just put a comment here and just say uh, find or get a single value. Let's save that and run this program. Cargo run. And you got 94 for web development. Beautiful. Now, we have adding value and we have getting a value. What about removing a value? Well, it's very simple. We can just say we go value and we can use the remove method. For example, marks.remove and pass in the key. For example, user experience design. And that's all it takes. 
So now we can loop through all the values in the hash map using a for in loop. So below this we can just say uh, loop through hash map and we can again use the for in loop. For example, for. Now this bit right here requires a little tuple like thing where we provide the key and the value. So in this case right here we have the subject as the key and the value is a mark. So for subject mark in a reference to marks, we can now play around with subject and mark inside this block here. We can say print line, print line for boom, you got boom, percentage. All right, we we'll then pass in subject and then mark. And that'll loop through the entire hash map and get the subject and mark for each entry. Now also remember we removed UX design. Let's now save this and run the program and see how we go. And we get three entries. All right, beautiful mate. Now, one last thing, we can also check to see if a key exists in the map. So down here we we'll just say uh, check for value and we can print line and say did you study C++ we could then say marks dot contains key so using the contains uh, contains key method we can then pass in a key for example C++ programming obviously we did not add this one in there so we should get false for this uh, print line put that in right there as well. Let's save that one and run it again. And we see false. We did not study C++ because obviously it's not inside the map up here. Alright, so that is how you can use hash maps in Rust. Thank you for watching and see you later.